go, Stubal. Dinner is served. Ice cream a la pie. Steven Universe is the gift that keeps on giving, and this yeah. recipe is no different because Ashley and I love pie. We sure do, and especially we love fruit pies. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing you this delicious fruit pie recipe that we know you're gonna love too. Let's see how it's done. Steven Universe recipes are sometimes simple, but with a twist, like the Restaurant Wars recipes or the Snack Sushi. Other times they're exactly what they look like, a burrito wrapped in a pizza. What, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> A mishmash of every breakfast food you'd ever want. But today, we have ice cream a la pie. Now, to be honest, Greg Universe isn't your stereotypical vision of a hunky dad, but he is the definition of dad nonetheless. And I'm guessing his journey to that belly started with more than one ice cream a la pie. More like one a week. For Steven, Greg is there, and he's glad that the swelling has gone down. After all, Steven has just opened up to a doctor for the first time about years and years of emotional and mental trauma, so you know what? Let's make an easy dish today, one that's meant to comfort rather than complicate. Because not every food on this channel has to be an expertly crafted dish. If you want the artisanal or bespoke version, you know exactly where you need to go. For us though, we've been doing this for nine years, let's just slap this one together and make our own strawberry pie and just daydream of how sweet and tasty it's all gonna be when it's finished. Now for the pie crust, you can use a store-bought pie crust, or you can do something even cooler and use the dough recipe from the Feast of Fiction Kitchen Cookbook, but you know what, we just talked about making this easy, so you could just buy the book and buy a store-bought pie crust instead, and no one's gonna bat an eye, I promise. Now roll out your pie crust so it's gonna cover the entire tin, pour in your strawberry mixture and fill it out. You're gonna put the other pie crust on top and snip around the edges to get rid of some of the extra pie crust then fold the remainder of it underneath the tin all the way around. Then using our favorite technique of one thumb on one hand and your thumb and index finger on the other, work your way around and pinch the edges for a cute and simple little design. Give it a milk wash dusted with turbinado sugar. Cut a few slits on the top, and then you're gonna bake this for 45 minutes and you want it to cool completely before serving so the insides don't ooze out too much when you cut it. But you know what, why, why wait? Just cut into it, let it ooze out, stick the rest in the cool place for later, and then load up your ice cream a la pie. We're not gonna beat around the bush here. We're just scooping ice cream in, we're covering it with some chocolate sauce, we're slopping a pie slice in there willy-nilly, and you're topping it with whipped cream. And voila, ice cream a la pie. Does it need to look like something a fancy restaurant serves? Eh, arguable. It's not the point, right? This is a comfort dessert combining a few things we love in a single bowl. And if you're really gonna grate it out and just use a store-bought pie and store-bought chocolate sauce and everything else, I am never gonna blame you. I'm never gonna make you feel bad because feeding kids like Steven and ourselves is a challenge. And sometimes trying extra hard isn't as satisfying as just letting the food do the thing it's supposed to, which is rewarding yourself for a job well done. You put some stuff together. I hope your day is gonna go better as a result of it. And I hope you think about Steven and all of the awesome things and crazy things that he's been through and eat this in solidarity with him as well. So thank you, Steven, for 10 years on this channel. We've been making your foods and giving us an easy one this time for me. And Ashley, we're never gonna say no to that. Eh, honestly, I'm down to do this more often. Who's that patron? It's Chillers! Chillers. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. ding. Oh. How can this not? Hey! You <laughs> <I> <laughs> stole. He stole my bite. How can this not be good, by the way? Dude. It's three things I love. Pie, ice cream, and whipped cream. Cheers. Ding. A la mode. Mm. Mm. Cobbler is my favorite dessert. I know, right? We just kind of made a cobbler, right? Yes. Nice. This is good. Good job, Mr. Universe. You know, I think Steven Universe captures something that's very important and why this show exists. What's that, Wimmy? You make food that's simple or something that you're like, you know is gonna be good, and you draw it and you put it on the page and you're like, you know what? Yeah. That would be good. And then when you watch it, you know, you're watching a guy put a pie into ice cream with chocolate syrup and whipped cream. Boom. It's gonna be good. I kind of like how um, it's like an ambiguous red pie. Mm-hmm. Right? So you don't really necessarily know if it's supposed to be a strawberry pie. You could do cherry pie. Yeah, anything with the red-ish yeah. vibe. But we oh, love cobbler, so obviously. So we went with a fresh, Fruit pie. How is it that you can put ice cream with anything that's just better? Well, most anything. Yeah, most anything. <laughs> pie a la mode is one of the best desserts of all time. Mm -hmm. Don't at me. LOL. 
It's amazing. <laughs> Why'd you say oh, whoa? Well. <laughs> you know what's really awesome about Steven Universe? What's that? We have multiple Steven Universe recipes in our brand new... Oh! Cookbook. There it is. There it is. That's the one <laughs> right here. There it is. Feast of Fiction. So, Ashley, do you know what recipes we made? I do know what recipes we made. All right, name one. Well, uh, we made fire salt donut. Oh, uh -huh, not just any fire salt, but these fire salt donuts. So, Ooh, so, 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 so. whoa, it's a whole big spread. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And we also made Cookie uh, Cat. Cookie Cat. Have Boom, whole big spread. Woo. I knew it was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, that's right. So, Steven Universe is a huge inspiration to this show. They've been a huge part of our show for the past, oh gosh, five, six years now. Oh, yeah. The show finally ended, which is a bummer, but it lives on in the spirit of our cookbook, which you might right now at all of your big box retailers. You can also get it online, support a local bookstore, your choice, and you're also gonna get me and Ashley on the cover. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You can take this with you anywhere. You can give it as a gift. It's great on any coffee table. Oh but my more gosh, it looks the best on a coffee table. 55 recipes. Beautiful, full art pictures spread throughout. Beautiful. You're going to want this book, every single page. And it has that new book smell. One of my favorite oh, smells yeah. in the world. We have lots more ideas, lots more things to make things from. And yep. this show, of course, is based on your suggestions too. So thank you all so much. All because of you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys keep them coming. And we keep pumping out these killer recipes like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's killer, it's simple, but most importantly, it's delicious. It is. So thank you guys all so much for suggesting this. Mm -hmm. And all of your other suggestions and comments do not go unnoticed. We see them and we read them and we appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys again so much for taking such an active part and an active role in this channel, in the creation of this cookbook, yeah. and the Patreon. It's all you brothers yeah. and sisters. Big thanks to the patrons, of course, the ones that have been with us at the beginning of our Patreon actually got this cookbook for free. Wow. So we're out there rewarding our most loyal, awesome fans. And you can join our Patreon too at patreon.com slash piece of fiction. Otherwise, support the show. If you've watched us for any amount of time, this is the biggest accomplishment we've had in a very, very long time. And your support makes a huge difference and letting us do more stuff like this in the future. Even if it's just leaving a positive comment or review on the cookbook, that can make a huge difference for us as well. So thank you all so much. Yep. And as always, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.